If money was no object, I'd, I'd have a shop full of grobs. It's nearly been a year since MTD CNC visited Love Engineering. This fabulous Grob G350 five axis machine. Now, Paul, uh, you were instrumental in the sale of this machine, but this is becoming more typical. In other words, selling machines to smaller subcontracting companies. Tell us a little bit about your journey with Love Engineering. Well, it's been a, a great journey, really. Obviously, Jason's been a fantastic customer to work alongside. and. Really, it highlights that Grub are affordable machines to the general subcontract world. And looking at some of the components that are on the shop floor today, uh, is the process much slicker? In other words, are they making more money, less setup time, for instance? Yeah, I think the machine has really propelled the business forward. Obviously, we're offering a, uh, a quicker part, um, lower tooling costs because of the upside down machining capability on the Grub, um, and all, all that you know, is a win for, for Luff Engineering. And when you look at some of the, uh, the work that uh, Jason at Luff Engineering is actually winning now, has this machine really given the capacity to go out there and say, look, I can take on more challenging components? I think it's certainly given them the confidence that they can be competitive in a very competitive marketplace. And when you look at uh, the portfolio uh, of what Grob are offering, you know, a lot of companies will think uh, actually these machines are in, you know, big automotive companies, big aerospace companies, but this demonstrates how lucrative these machines can be for smaller SMEs. Absolutely. We've broken through into a lot of different sectors. Obviously, Grob are typically known for the automotive, but now we're, we're heavily involved in oil and gas, medical, aerospace, uh, even food industry. And when you look at the portfolio of products that uh, uh, Grob are actually introducing into, into uh, the worldwide marketplace, is it still growing? Absolutely. Obviously behind us you've got the 350, so that's our, our universal range. We've also got the, the Access range, which is uh, a more affordable machine. We've just recently brought out the 4-axis range earlier this year. So we're, we're very competitive in the 4-axis market now. and also. Over the last 12, 18 months, the team back in Mindelheim have heavily worked in automation. So we've got a lot of systems that can be the perfect fit for the right customer. And I've uh, also uh, spoken to, to Lewis over the last few months, uh, Lewis Hill, the managing director. Yep. Obviously, there's some good news coming to the UK. You're going to have your own centre uh, fairly soon, aren't you? Yeah, we're, we're, we're well on the way to opening our own centre of excellence here in the UK where customers can visit. Uh, have demos, cutting trials, uh, and generally meet and work with the Grub team. And is that a little bit like the TAS Centre that you've got in Mindelheim? Yeah, it's very much going to be aimed at our, our tech centre out in Mindelheim. So from uh, engineers that may be watching this uh, video in reference to investing in the best five-axis solutions, what would be your message to them, Paul? Challenge us. Give us your complicated parts. Let us have a look at it. Let's provide you with a time study. We're already offering huge wins, we're finding huge wins against other machines that are available in the marketplace. So, you know, let us have a go at your problem. And really the service and backup that you actually give your um, customers is, is second to none. But, you know, recently there was a slight issue with this machine, but, you know, your service element was be able to actually go in remotely and fix it for them. Absolutely, yeah. The, the team here in the UK and obviously back in Mindelheim supporting them as well. Um, there was a tiny issue on the machine that was fixed within a few hours and didn't even result in an engineer visit. So that's the sort of level that we can provide. And, and lastly, you know, for companies like Luff Engineering to invest in such a, a fantastic machine, they wouldn't be able to be competitive if they didn't. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, the machine here is it's running long hours, producing quality parts, um, and obviously quicker than they were producing them before. Jason, it's nearly been a year since the Grob G350 has been here at Luff Engineering. Tell us a little bit about your experience. On the whole, it's been all positive. Um, it, it was a big decision to, to make that investment to go for a machine like the Grob, um, or, although it was, it was offered at a very competitive price. Um, it's opened up doors, we've picked up some new work, additional work from existing customers. Um, so yeah, in, in the main, it's been very positive. Now I see a lot of uh, components on the floor here, you know, has it sort of, um, the downtime, has it, has it reduced that on this oh, crop? Most certainly. Um, it's very much quicker to set up, um, having the probing system on there, 
is very useful. Um, not as you've looked around, not everything we do is is necessarily very complicated. You know, if you've just got um, five-sided work, it, it's just so much quicker to set up. You set set one datum, and the machine knows where it is. It's a, always a big step, isn't it, to, to actually sort of go to the maximum of, of your budget. But mm. when you look at the type of work that you've you've gone out and won since having the grab, it has it been a major benefit to you? Definitely. Um, so if money was no object, I'd, I'd have a shop full of grubs. Um, but I'm, I'm finding, obviously, because it's so friendly to use, I, I sort of tend to go, want to be working that one more than the others. But in terms of five-axis capacity, it's pretty, it's full pretty much all of the time. And when you look at some of the components that you are uh, manufacturing here, it, does it matter what type of material that you're cutting on this grub? No, not at all. Um, we, we, we've done all sorts on there, copper, a bit, bit of acetal, and, and it obviously handles hard materials, we do some stainless, so no, it doesn't matter at all. And for you, what was the unique selling point of the actual machine? What, why the grob? Um, I'd seen videos on, on, on LinkedIn of the grob and, um, okay, people might think it's a gimmick, the fact that it can machine upside down, but it is very useful um, when it comes to sw clearing the swarf, the fact that it can just falls away with gravity. Um, it, it, it improves surface finish, uh, tool life is, is exceptionally good, um, yeah it, it, it is really good. And that's one thing that uh, the Grob UK guys say to me is, is that obviously Swarf's your enemy mm -hmm. but also the tool life on, on these machines yeah. gives, you, gives everybody a, a greater aspect. Definitely. Before we had the Grob we got, um, we got horizontal machines so um, Swarf clearance was always pretty good on those, but like, like I say, it, some people might think it's gimmicky that it can machine upside down, but it is very beneficial. Um, well, when you see some of the work that they've got in Mindelheim in the TAS Centre, I mean, it's really cooked some complicated stuff, and I know, yeah. I know you've seen that. But yeah. um, going forward, um, is there opportunity, uh, you know, to, to go out to market with more, because you've got more capacity in the, in the, on the shop floor? Yes, uh, I suppose due to COVID, it's been, it's been a strange couple of years. I'm sure most companies have been in the same boat. Um, people haven't really been moving work necessarily. Um, and yeah, it's been difficult times, but it certainly has opened up doors. And as, as things get more relaxed, I'll, I'll go out and look for you know, a higher caliber of work to put, certainly put on the grub. And certainly um, the service and support the grub is second to none but you know this, this machine has not missed a beat up to about the other week and right. you had a slight issue and it was fixed on their remote machine diagnosis system which is obviously offline yes fixed on the same day um, put a call into um, uh, the uh, grob service manager he, he got in contact with germany uh, they phoned me within a couple of hours um, i was back up and running on, on that afternoon and if you didn't make a a big investment like this on the uh, on the grob. Do you think that uh, you know, from a, a, a business point of view, that you wouldn't be competitive in the marketplace? We wouldn't be as competitive. Certainly not. Um, I was fine. As you've looked around, we've got a, predominantly a shop full of older machines. They're good machines, but um, when you compare them to the grob, the the the, pro the sort of the process stability of the grob compared to the older machines is far superior. Um, although the old machines, you know, they're, they're robust, they're sort of, they're quite slow. And I, I when we had machine tool salespeople in, they, I was never one for, when they said, oh, you know, the rapid traverse speed is this much quicker. I was like, I don't care. It's about how quick we cut the metal. Um, but across the board the grub is it's just quicker okay the rapids are quicker than the older machines but it cuts it's about finding the right sort of uh, strategy I think to suit the machine and I suppose uh, the grub UK boys are there to, to really help you with that obviously if you do have a, any issues with the machine but also advice as well yeah the um, uh, the, the grub people have all been helpful there the service team the applications guy yeah uh, all very friendly very approachable now finally when you look at the, uh, you know, the aspect of actually investing in this initially, for those engineers out there that maybe are looking to, to invest in the best machine tools, what would, what would be your experience to share with them? I would, I would recommend everybody, everybody has a look at the grub. It's not, it's not going to fit everybody's needs, certainly, you know. Um, 
but it is an it's ex exceptionally good machine. Um, we were lucky that there's always Grob will always find you a machine that will fit your needs. Whether it, whether it's affordable, it, that's another matter. But they usually bend over backwards to, to you know to, to put a package together that suits you. And the great thing is, it's now giving you extra capacity. Can we more work? Absolutely, yeah. It's a win-win.